What's the problem? I don't think there's a problem. It's just like I'm not playing too well, and I mean it's it's a combination of like even when I'm playing well, I'm not like taking control of um, this the situations I'm very strong in. So I think I'm just messing up, I'm not playing to the level I'm supposed to be. I think team atmosphere is fine. People are trying to problem solve rather than blame, which is obviously a very good thing. So I think the atmosphere is fine. Ah, my volibear was not good enough. I think if I had played a bit better, I would have done well. I think I need a break. No, I don't think I need a break. I think I need uh, more practice. Oh, I think that fight was fine. I just went on the Renekton when he TP'd because I thought we could win, but uh, they were stronger still after the fight had occurred. Like I killed the Rokan and then I started walking up to the Renekton and uh, I was hoping that we could fight there, but we could not. So we got crushed. Yeah, maybe we're fighting too much, it's true. Uh, I think that we're not fighting enough when we're advantaged and we're too scared to... Like, we're fighting fights that are meh, like 50-50, rather than taking the fights that are in our advantage, so we're not doing too well. I don't want to speak too much for draft or other other people's gameplay. It's not really a uh, thingy. Truth is better than Wonder at Camille? I would say so, yeah. Got pretty good in any champ? True. Niski's good at it earlier too, that's true. Which player surprised me the most? Like ever? Oh. I don't think I was ever surprised by a player. I always assume that they will make the right decisions in game and they'll play well. Talk about the Camille Gragas matchup? I don't know. Camille E beats Gragas E, so you can mess him up after doing that. And uh, Camille's W is just an OP spell, so if you hit it, you kind of win every matchup. I feel like that's Camille in a nutshell right now and why I don't like her in the situation she's in. It feels super frustrating to play against Camille. Because if you're in a matchup where she can hit W, you lose. And if you're in a matchup where she can dodge it, by any means, you win. Some matchups can ignore it and go even, but that's about it. And then she hits Trinity Force, and at that point, if you ever get hit by one of her true damage Qs, the next one will kill you with her ult. So, like, next time she... she like, yeah, the next one is... Hextech ultimatum and you're fucking dead, so... W level 1, are you serious? <clears throat> I got auto space stuff out of 1 auto. W level 1 Garen, I mean, sure. Did he take it out? Like, he must have panicked panicked and took it. Oh, my Kabil paths away from my lane. That makes me so sad. I'm playing against Ghost Garen. I would say it's worth trading blows like that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I've, I haven't seen W level 1 on Garen in a while. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's bad, but not when I have E. Like, he kind of needs Q to trade with me, or E at least, you know, to answer me. Because if not, I can just bully him like this. If he wants to sit there and not get CS, that's fine by me. I'll just go for a little cheater recall. I probably shouldn't have popped my potion, but I popped my potion in response to his. Like, I feel like... Maybe it's a bad habit, but when someone activates their health potion, I generally do too. Because, you know, maybe they go all in, maybe they're like, hmm. If he doesn't pop his pot, I want to go all in. Something like that, you know? So I just pop my pot there. That's a kill. I full moved, just in case there was a fight. I think that's the correct move. If Garen fast pushes here, I'll uh, TP top. Again, I full moved for a river fight here, but I think that was the correct play. Garen slow pushes, that's A-OK -okay with me. So right now I just want to blow up this wave of base, buy my sheen, and enjoy the ride. Oh, I was greedy there with the, with the back step. I shouldn't have done that. I uh, put the wrong... I really don't want to dive that. Please, it's a full HP thingy with... It's full HP Garen, why would we do that? Oh, fuck it, we're going. I don't reach there. If he wants to die, I'll kill him, I guess. But yeah, it's a really awkward spot to be in, I think. Velcos doesn't move, we're okay. Give me the plate. No, not the plating. I wanted this, yes. That was a mistake. Let me die, let me die, it's okay, let me die, let me die, let me die. Why would you die with me? Just let me die. I fucked up. It was my bad. You don't have to die with me. Yeah. The point I was trying to make is, it's better not to use cooldowns on a lane that has already been decided. Like, face checking here is honestly probably not a great play, but I do want to check the Herald. 
Um, like face checking if the Grog is Garen, I might die there. I don't know if they deal enough damage without Ignite. If Garen had Ignite, I would say I'm 100% dead, but um, without Ignite on Garen, maybe I can live. <clears throat> like, Q Max Camille getting that much movement speed is honestly bannable, no? 482 movement speed. Like, where am I trying to run? Like, why am I so fast? It just doesn't make sense to me, you know? Holy shit. It just doesn't make sense. Fifteen on my TP, so I can't TP bot right now. He's popping off. He's popping off. Oh, almost. Doesn't really change much. I could go for CDR shoes, for example, here. But again, this buy is perfectly fine by me. My team wants to pop Herald mid and thingy because there's no plates left. So I think that's a respectable choice. To use my TP. I don't know, I'm just gonna push top here. I'm not paying attention really to what's happening. It's okay guys, I carry, you can give them a dragon. I'm getting ahead. I have a lot of gold, I haven't based since we uh, took mid tur tur so I'm in a bit of a pickle in terms of basing. Buy some pinks, stay in the good habit of buying those. Yeah, honestly, I think we should have made another wide whippo meme. I think that was the problem. But the problem with White Bippo meme is apparently it's White Fanatic now, so it's like kind of ruined for me. I don't know what we're fighting there. Like, what is there to accomplish in that area? I I'm missing it. I guess you can measure your dick size when you walk in there. Like, that's what's happening right now. We're measuring our, our, our penis length with the enemy team. No, it looks like their penis was bigger, but it's because we had one penis less in, in total. So, like, they, they barely won. They barely won. How many ones are out here? No, almost no mana. Piss off. Oh wait. What you want is you want to gank me with the Velcos. Okay, I mean, without E, I'm gonna go ahead and go on you here. Oh, well, that's unlucky. Is Gorgas balanced? No, he's not! Whatever, man. Let me drop my pink here. There's another pink. I don't know, it's such a bad fight. I don't know why he didn't instead of being out, but I don't know what we're doing here. Like, I chunked Garen for free and then got a TP'd and went, like, started going in and then didn't commit to going in. Oh, that's a huge Q. Does he have Q? Does he have Q? Please tell me you have Q on thingy. No, you don't. If you had Q there. Yeah, I don't know. I think I should just. What the fuck? Range top into Camille Pantheon? Like, that was big PP energy right there. Like, I would really want to TP, but there's no one there. Oh, Garen's kind of 1v9ing right now, I don't know what to do. The minus 50 CS Garen is popping off, can we just leave, just leave, just leave, just give it, we fucked up, just give it. It's okay, it's okay guys, it's okay. Like... I guess Galio Camille can do something, but... If they can keep them interested, it's very good. But if we die, it's very bad, so I don't know where we're at. Holy shit, we're at fucking poke champ. Guys popping off. You know, I'm gonna tell you guys a story, okay? Because this is what reminds reminds uh, what reminds me of the situation. So I was playing MSI 2018, right? And um, I remember Dylan told me. <clears throat> Dylan looked at me and he was like, "Just keep pushing. Don't TP." If you're playing Camille and you're split pushing, just don't TP. Just don't do it, okay? Just don't, just don't TP. Because I always had the inclination to TP. I always TP'd. Like whenever there was a fight, like right there, I would TP. Right? And he's like, just don't do it. And then we played Flash Wolves. This was before the Flash Wolves game, and the people that watched that game will remember. What ends up happening in that Flash Wolves game is Bar and Brox steals Baron twice, and I'm not TP. I'm just split pushing. And we end up winning that game because he steals Baron twice. And it, I don't know. It's one of my favorite memories of an international. Uh, tournament ever because I was just told just don't TP and hope Broxa steals Nash and he stole it twice when we won I was like that has to be the absolute worst game plan of all time 
but it worked. We're just that good. I'm going, don't worry. I'm gonna have to play, no? I'll go in the game on side. I don't think I really have another option. Maybe I shouldn't have e-flashed. I think I went too early with e-flash. But can we stop losing mid when people are going bot like that? It makes me sad. Holy shit, Gragas is popping off. Okay, I mean, I go, I go, I go, I go, we go. I TP. What do I TP to? Like, I can't even use teleport or what? I mean, I'd love to TP, but the only TP I have is in the middle of the lane behind them. And it's pretty awkward, I would say. Azrael's moving. Whole enemy team is moving. I guess I'll move. I'd love to take more shit, but... Just back up, I'm coming. But kill him, just kill him. Oh, why didn't Galio kill him? Well, I did what I was asked, and we still barely won, so... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's just so hard. The guy like the guy didn't even hourglass my ult. If you hourglass my ult, that fight is just doomed. I guess it's a 2 for 2, so it's fine, but I don't know. Nice. You're anything. Oh. Can't we do this? DP in 20? Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Mm. Guy's still dead for so long. Oh, fucked up daddy. We just hit it, it's not bad. Why did you smite? It's okay, we'll get this, I'll get Star Axe and then I can actually 5v5. With Star Axe I think I can actually play the game against their chumps. Just kill it. Nice. Please don't knock Gargas engage mid. Is he too broken? He might be too broken, to be honest. Oh, the shit doesn't fit his balance, actually. Why is my camera locked? I don't know why. What? Where is Galio? Why did he TP? Why didn't he just push? I don't think that was necessary, but alright. Oh, no, 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 what are you doing? Fuck. Yeah, I mean, I told him to R, but not when I'm. It's me versus Ezreal alone. I'll fight with him. Like, I'm bodyguarding him right now, making sure he can... Holy moly, what is that damage? ATMR? Yeah, I mean, it's not like he has an insane amount of magic pen, is it? Just crazy damage, actually. I'm surprised. Need to wait with pushing. We can just push, guys. Look at our wave, top. The minions can beat them. So I think I go for Ezreal, to be honest. But under the Nexus is pretty rough, so let's wait until... Let's wait until all three waves crash and then we can go. There's no need for us to play that fast, look at the wave here. Let's create some space. With Adi, threaten the Velkos and Ezreal. I have stopwatch if I get ulted. I'm just playing for the Nexus. Oh, fucked up there a bit. 
Did you? All right, I'll show you the graph. I did less damage in my mid jungle. Anyway, I think I'm gonna let you guys um, enjoy your night. I'm gonna go take take some rest before I play tomorrow on stage. Sorry about today. Hope you guys have a good night. Take care. Bye.